In Hidden Family News. Oh, shit. Submitted by Rush Hour 10. A family was rescued after living in captivity for nine years. Whoa. Waiting for the end of time. Damn. Oh, wait, what? Nine Think years? With captivity? Yeah, Who by their dad? Captive? captive. Maybe it's like the Kimmy Schmidt show yeah. where they were being held against their will. Not against their will, but they were told, they were like, told. the world is going to end. Yeah. Oh. And they didn't know anybody. Yeah, the, well, yeah, that's the, the premise pilot. of her. And then she goes out to the world. Remember those kids in New York? They just oh, released yeah. them. They all, yeah, made like their own little movies and stuff. They were called like the Wolf Children or some shit like that. Oh, I never heard of that one. I don't oh, remember I that part this. of the there's story. Like, there's all these brothers and sisters yeah, yeah. that lived in the apartment. Yeah. I forgot their I name. I remember that. In New York they had City? A nickname. Yeah. You're right, there wasn't a And the parents no, never let the kids out because they were afraid of the Maybe outside the dad. world. Yeah. yeah, the dad was Alcoholic, paranoid. Paranoid dad. Anyway, so this story here, it all starts when a 25 year old man was in desperate need of help. And so he ends up going to a pub and he starts talking to the bar's owner after he got some drinks. Um, and so he had long, tangled hair, a dirty beard, and he was wearing tattered clothing and appeared perpetually confused. And the bar's owner said that there was something unworldly about him. So then finally- Maybe a smell? Maybe that's what they're saying. Oh, I never so smelled finally, this fucking animal before. He said that, that he was, the oldest that he has siblings or like his family was like he was really concerned for the way that they were living and like he needed help and he said that he managed to sneak out of a small secret room where he and his adult siblings had been kept all this time which has been nine years living in isolation in a farmhouse in the Netherlands so um that's when he was able to get cops to go and investigate and that's when they were met by this 58 year old man described as a handyman and he was refusing to cooperate with the police so the police arrested him and that's when they discovered these uh, adult like kids. So initially they were saying that this man wasn't related to these, these people uh, but then later on they're saying that they're, he's their father so it's kind of unclear, there's mixed mm. reports. Adult children, huh? Yeah. <laughs> From 18 to 25. So they were being held when they were younger? Yeah, mm -hmm. so for the last... Yeah. yeah. How many? Uh, there's a total of six. Six? Mm -hmm. All walking around with those little wooden shoes. 18 to 25, so that's a seven year span. So six children in seven years. That's crazy. And where's the mom in all of this? They're saying that the mom died before they went, like, in isolation. Oh. Yeah. So they get kidnapped? All of them got. So that's the thing that's like. No like they don't know how they right got now. there? They're saying that um, everything's really yeah. unclear, like how, what exactly happened in the farmhouse. They're just describing, like, the neighbors saying that they just thought this one man lived there alone, especially because mm. he was renting this farm place. Yeah. And the owner thought that she was just renting it to one man. And they're also describing that the kids all six children that they weren't registered with local authorities so they technically like didn't Don't exist. exist. Yeah. Whoa. Or anything. Yeah. Maybe the dad killed the mom and then he like had to isolate everybody so they wouldn't get caught. But they were 18 to 25 yeah. and they've been there for only nine, nine years. What happened before that? I don't know. Did he? Because they were all, if, so if yeah, the so oldest 14. was 25 and the, the one that escaped, how old was he? Uh, 14. 19, 18? 14. Oh, 14. But it said the end of the world. Did he make them think oh, that they were 16. wait like yeah, the world? 16, 16 right? Okay. Yeah, well, so that's what they're describing. Like, there's a lot of headlines saying that this Dutch family was waiting the end of times. Mm -hmm. So it just seemed like they were just living there just to wait their death. Wait for the apocalypse? At least the dad's gonna die first. Well, because the oldest one was 16. When he already knows, like, enough about the world and all that shit. So he, unless, like, he's been in cat captivity this whole time. Yeah, he, he's not even registered with the government though, so maybe he doesn't know anything. Yeah, yeah. He but, but he only said that he's been trapped there for nine years. Or maybe yeah. in that particular so spot. So he did say that he hadn't been to a barber, like a, to a barber shop in nine years. And like, things like that. Like, oh. he hasn't even been in the outside world for yeah. nine years. So they don't even know what's yeah, happening on the outside. The so they've been in that room. Yeah. 
Oh, so there How was like boring. It was this. Um, they're saying that there were like these makeshift furniture because the 58 year old man is like a handyman or carpenter or something. So I guess he built furniture for them, and like there was this one like that. Secret well, he cares room, for him. The secret room that had like makeshift walls and stuff, but I don't know. And everyone in this town is like shocked because they're like. How fun did the house ever. look though? I don't know. Because if it was like. It could either go like rapey or it could either go like paradise. Mm -hmm. Paradise? Yeah, you Because yeah, this is kind of Joe's dream is to like Think sit about alone. It. Like, <laughs> it's a farmhouse. You eat food all day. You don't got to work. Like self sustain. You're, yeah, you're with family yeah. and friends. Yeah. There's a mud hut. You ain't got to do shit. Yeah, Why is that horrible? I think it's more horrible. You got to fucking work. You gotta pay bills. I also think it's more shit. horrible that uh, some people are watching this video right now and they're not subscribed to us. Oh, That's no. terrible. Please subscribe. If you're trapped in a house and someone isn't letting you out, subscribe to our channel. Yes. And if you're trapped in a house because you just maybe don't have friends to go out and play with, like, you go subscribe. That's true. We'll be your friends. So, yeah. except for Joe. Joe doesn't want to be anyone's friend. That's true. <laughs> Maybe you guys. Oh, that's maybe. nice. Even me? Of course. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh shit, he gave it to you. He took it away. Of course, maybe. <laughs> um, this is like, could you imagine uh, nine years ago and then you just come back to the world and then they're like, Donald Trump is the president of the United States. And you're like, fuck. And he goes back into the I don't know if there was farm. no context. It's like, wait. What, is it a reality show now? Like, is it a White House reality show? No, the show? only reference he knows is like the guy from Home Alone. Yeah. With nine years in <laughs> Netherlands. Nine years, yeah. What happened? So 2010. He was doing. Oh, um, he was doing, he was doing Apprentice. Doing the, you're fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing Apprentice. So, so he's like, you mean the guy from Apprentice? Yeah. Damn. What happened to the last president? Did he get fired. Damn. Yeah, they didn't even know Obama. Exactly. Yeah. Can you imagine? Wow. Being like Maybe. time warp for ten years. All the shit that happened within the last 10 years, from 2009 to, two, like, now. Yeah, he got elected in 2008. Yeah. That's how people oh. in jail feel when they come out. They're like, whoa, what the fuck's up? I think they're still connected They have access the, to the news. Yeah. And they have the internet. But it's still not the same. It's super limited. For sure it's not the same. Yeah, it's extremely limited. They don't even know about TikTok yet. No. <laughs> So or Gary Vee. So <laughs> Thank God. I went to boot camp for three and a half months, and it's very limited access to the world. And I remember the day I graduated, and when I went back home, it, it was like, it just felt like I was coming back Through into Through a time it. portal? Yeah, and it's only three and a half months, but it's just when you're, when you're not updated by all these things, you're like, what, AOL has another version? Mm. It's just crazy. <laughs> what, you don't have to do a CD for minutes anymore? Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? It's crazy. I know, it's a trip. So they, this family was taken to the, the doctor and now they're being cared for and a large scale investigation is ongoing. So the prosecutors, uh, they will consider whether criminal charges need to be brought mm. in the case. Wait, I have a question. Yeah. So they're evacuating these kids. How are they gonna live in society? Like if that's all they know, they're not even registered with the, the government. How are they gonna get now. a job? They yeah, gotta exterminate them now. They have no experience now. to like work or like- I'm sure they'll plug them into like some like school system. And like, the like slowly start like having them assimilate. The Dutch circus. Mm -hmm. You know, in the U.S., if you don't have a social security number, because some parents elect for their kids not like um, Mormons, like very devout Mormons, they elect to not register their children with the government or something. And it can be very difficult, even if you're an adult, to finally get that. So there's to be a very, citizen to to, to prove, prove, that, prove that, that yeah like you can't prove that you're American you can't prove do they get a birth certificate no but there's a whole process to <sighs> that's the thing there's not a process to figure it out yeah because what the hillbillies do yes they just this is most, stay in the woods this is who it affects <laughs> most is hillbillies whose parents are. Like, yeah, they're off the grid, mm -hmm. but they're American. Like they've been here for so many generations. Yeah, but, but they're if they're like, in an ice rink, yep, don't know where they're sending you. But that's true. They're like, I know. Where do you go? I don't know. That's true. They're like, <laughs> you're an immigrant. You just stay there. <laughs> they're like, yeah. How do they process them? They no, send you to the country that you look like. Radiation forever. You look Mexican. You go there. You look <laughs> Scotland, Scottish. Yeah. You go there. <laughs>
Damn. Yeah, what if you don't tell them what country you're from? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like they would send me to more like uh, like a Latin country rather than an Asian country because I look more like that. <laughs> Damn, I'm going to Asia. You're going to... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, hi, oh, my people. They're like, no. So I heard like the whole social security thing where like um, in the 60s, it was actually pretty freaking easy because there were a lot of people that didn't have it. So they could just go to the social security building and just get their thing. And no one really questioned it. They also had driver's license that were like out of paper and then they just kind of <laughs> laminated it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. And I, I think that's why uh, uh, like illegal immigration and things like that back then was just, it was less controlled and it was much more easier for people to just come in and then become citizens and stuff. That's yeah. pretty crazy though. You gotta get a real ID to go on a plane. Yeah. Damn. Like they didn't have to wear seatbelts back then. They were like, we don't know how cars work. If, if you had a chance to um, get like a, be a, a expat and be a like, citizen somewhere else, would you do it? Yup. No. You would? Depends where. Cause I love being American. Yeah, I think like, I would. I feel like it's just, it's so hard to get in. But when you're Canada? but when you're balling, you can be American anywhere. What? Sure. Like Pacquiao mm -hmm. has an entire army with <laughs> thousands of guns in the Philippines. Oh, so what's the American part of that? I don't even know if anyone else has guns. But he, but like when you when you have money, you could bend all the rules of any nation of any society. Yeah, but those guys everything. get jacked by the government though. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, too much money then. Yeah, like Medium the money. government sees them as like a threat because they're getting too much power, and then they'll come in and then they'll just take all your shit. That's why he's a senator. He is. Yeah, so he could assimilate. But then when you're Pacquiao, government. you're like Filipino Jesus. So that's that's like, true. Yeah, it's it's yeah. So you need a talent and a lot of money. Yeah. You're fucked. Or not too much. Oh. Don't be like a billionaire. Be okay. like. So eight, you just you don't want to just eight, stay eight, in eight, America? Eight. No? America's pretty nice. Oh.